It's election time, which means the MAGA idiots are once again coming out of their sweet hibernation for us to take a look at and just get a sweet, sweet taste of comedy. Now, I know what you're thinking. There's millions that you could choose from. Millions of comedic people to laugh at. How are you gonna show us just one? And for that, I have the answer, because I'm going to show you my favorite MAGA Patriot. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to David J. Harris Jr. Now, if you've never seen this guy or heard of this guy before, you may have, he was trending a little bit ago. He is a very different type of Trump supporter in a sense where he has such a s attention seeks like all the other ones but this man does it in such a way where even the other MAGA supporters cannot help but laugh at him. the way he goes about trying to get this attention makes it seem not even seem it just makes it obvious that he wants it and that he's doing everything in his power to do it. But Lee looks like a sad dog in these clips I'm about to show you. People always ask me. Thanks, brother. It's because they like the shirt, too. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. In case you don't notice the hat, it's right the shirt, here. too, right? <laughs> he received the attention and still somehow managed to push for more attention there. Oh, see the shirt? Yup, see the shirt. She got the hat too. Peep the hat matches the shirt. Shirt hat kind of matches. Matches. See the shirt. You see the shirt? See the shirt. Did you do? You see the shirt? You see the shirt? The shirt? <laughs> all day. Yeah, all day. People always ask me, they say, do you get nervous wearing your support for President Trump so boldly on your shirts or on your hats? But it's moments like that when I meet patriots that love the messages on my shirt or my hat that I just say, you know what, it's worth it. They gotta know there's more of us out there. This shit cannot be real, bro. What the fuck? Why is he talking like being a Trump supporter is the equivalent of being oppressed? Like people ask me all the time, am I scared to wear a fucking shirt and a hat? I say no because I meet other people my kind. Like, what are you talking about? You're just meeting other white people who support the same rapist. Like, what is there to feel endangered by? You're the danger. It's just like, Actually, what are you doing? You're telling me, you're gonna sit there and tell me you bought a first class ticket, or at least first to board ticket, just so you could sit in the front and force everyone to look at your stupid fucking shirt. And, and this is why I mean when he looks like a sad dog, he's giving people puppy dog eyes, trying to get them to look at his fucking breasticles and look at the fact that he's gonna vote for a convicted rapist. Yeah, David, yeah. And he's just sitting there like. Yeah, yeah. Another funny thing I kind of forgot to talk about were his little tweets that he always puts at the bottom because what the fuck is he even talking about? I want to wear a shirt that says I'm voting for Trump without saying I'm voting for Trump. It says you're voting for Trump on the shirt, dumbass. Their logic just never really ceases to amaze me because in what universe is wearing a MAGA hat and a shirt that says Joe Biden and convicted felon. What does that say you're like, where is the like obscurity that you're voting for Trump in that? It, to me, that seems pretty, you know, obvious, but I don't know, uh, David J. Harris Jr. I'm not sure. Like that? <laughs> 
I'm um, voting for it. Big Nutella. <laughs> Hey, hey, you like that shit? Yeah, you, yeah, you like this shit, right? I love this, bro. Join the dark side, motherfucker. I genuinely really want to know what goes on in his brain. Like, I want scientists to dissect this man's brain once he dies so we know what made him like this. How are you going to sit there after that whole little... <laughs> nice, you like the shirt? Yup, yup. Oh, 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 oh. How are you going to have that whole little interaction and be like, yep. That's who I'm voting for. Convicted felon. How can someone openly blurt those words in such a manner and just not feel some type of shame? You are on a plane, sir. Act like it. Yeah, let's hope. Exactly, that's right. Gotta save this country. The rest of that clip just goes on of him having this little conversation with, I assume, these old people where he's just like, God bless our country. I sure hope he saves it. While simultaneously voting for the guy that a god would absolutely love and despise. After that point, it was just advertisement for the clothing he was wearing though, and I frankly don't want to put his website out there so anyone can support him because he doesn't deserve support and no one should be buying his clothing and putting money into such a heinous thing. Now, there isn't a whole lot much more to say. Um, I will say a nice little funny out of touch is the fact that uh, with the power of hindsight, <laughs> we know Joe Biden's not even running for president. So he's literally just wearing a fucking shirt. That means nothing because Trump already lost to Biden. There's no point in trying to say you'd pick him over Biden. He's already lost. I don't really know how to end this. Uh, for your voting age, make sure you register to vote. Make sure you vote blue. Do not vote for the dark side. Deuces. Oh, say can you see by the dark? Hey.